Are you a good sport? No. What's the chance that we're the bad guy at the end? Pretty high. Is Leo short for something? Leonidas, maybe? Are there audio logs in this game? Yes. Can you listen to them while you play? It depends on how you want to approach the game. Can you customize the uh, input buttons? Yes, you can. Is there a skill tree? Yes, there is. What's your favorite thing on it? The ability to throw humans. Is there a lore reason why you can throw corpses but not living people? Who says they're not living? Is there any multiplayer? No. When you get a game over, does it play the Missy Elliott song, Lose Control? Not quite. Does the whole game take place in the oldest house? You might think so. So the entire game takes place in one house? That's right. It's a complicated, shifting place. Where is the oldest house? In New York. Why is it called the oldest house? It's really old. It's a stupid question, that's fair. <laughs> Does the oldest house have an oldest landlord? Yes. Is it also the coldest house? I mean, seriously, you got a blanket around here? There's a furnace there at, at one point. It's pretty impressive, actually. And that's, it's, uh, it's pretty hot um, in that part. Okay. Where's the newest house? I guess we'll leave that for the sequel. How long is Control? It depends on who plays the game. Is there a target length or anything? Yes. When is Remedy going to make a game for a Switch? I wish soon. I love Switch. What are the collectibles you'll be picking up? I'm not sure if I can tell yet, but there will be plenty of different types, yeah. Are you not making Alan Wake 2 because it's too scary? No. Any regrets with Quantum Break? The TV show could have been better. Do you regret not just shipping it way sooner? Yes. What do you think is the most underrated part of Quantum Break? Will's Workshop. There's the sequence where time is broken and you wander through it. It was actually a really elaborate and complicated and emotional journey that went through. I spent a lot of time doing that. Now that I'm here, what are your other two wishes? <laughs> well, not my other two what? Wishes? I guess having a nice vacation after all of this is done would be nice. Two nice vacations? Actually, yeah. Are there cooldowns on abilities in Control? Yes. Is ammo scarcity a factor? No. Do you believe in ghosts? No. It's a bit sad. I wish I would. Are you looking at the ghost right behind me now? Yeah. Uh, Does that change anything for you? Not really, no. Okay. Have you ever moved anything with your mind? I have tried many times, and maybe I have succeeded once or twice. What's the difference between a film director and a game director? I'll take my answer off the air. I think a game director is less in control what is possible to happen within the experience. When's the last time a game made you cry? I think it was Dark Souls because it was so hard. What's the difference between a skit and a cutscene? The other one is funnier. So is a funny cutscene a skit? No, what the cutscene exactly is in, in your mind. What do you think it is? Like a cinematic? Like a short story moment? Right. I have no idea what's the difference between those two. Yeah, makes you think though. <laughs> no. Kind of a smart, good question. I don't really. Think about it. What's the best part of making a game in Finland? It's easy to get to work. No congestion, you know, you know, public transportation is good. Do you ever work on a game and play it for the first time in development and think, oh, sh this sucks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's a, that's a really common thing, actually. When was the last time that happened? Well, there was a point in Quantum Break where, where that moment happened. Will Control have a new game plus? No. How fast do you think Remedy could crank out a game if you all just stopped caring? Oh, really fast. I, I would say like in a month. Why are you so scared of sequels? Sometimes they limit you in a way that makes it tricky to go forward as a, as a studio and uh, as an artist as well. How much money do you have on you right now? I don't have my wallet with me. Will there be answers to every mystery in Control? No. Not even close. Is there a crouch button? No. Does she crouch? Yeah, when you go close to a cover, Jesse will align to the cover automatically. Do you want to look in the camera right now and deliver a message to Microsoft? Mm, not really. You could say anything you want. But that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy to be on your platform, Microsoft with Control, so that's great. Thank you for that. Are you tired of every men? Don't you want to make a game about a karate gun expert? Yes. How linear is this game? Not linear at all. Is there crotch platform play? A, a what? Crotch platform play. Is your hovering better than Anthem's? I tried Anthem once. I think it's more controllable than Anthem's. Is there a twist? Yes. Can we use your mocap studio? For what? Dicking around? Sure. Actually, let's save that for an exclusive feature available later this month on GameInformer.com. What feature in Control are you most proud of? It always comes down to that destruction mayhem. It's so much fun. Does the line, I must be seeing things, appear anywhere in this game? I don't think so, no. What's the dumbest game idea you've ever been pitched by a layman? I think there was a game a while back which was about you being um, 
what is the caterpillar. Mm -hmm. And the idea was that you move it around in a plant and eat the plant. Where do I pre-order? Yeah, actually, no, when I say it loud, it sounds relaxing. What's the creepiest game you've ever played? Control. What was it like working with Corey Bal Bal Barlog on uh, Mad Max at Avalanche? It, it was really brief. What was interesting was that the ideas that he had for Mad Max, I can see those things actually popping up in God of War. Do you have a specific example? It's the idea of the camera and the moment being always with you. It's like one single cut, and that's what he wanted for Mad Max as well. It was fun to see that being realized in God of War. What do you think was your biggest contribution to Mad Max? Uh, I would like to imagine it was the vehicle combat and the melee system. I worked really hard on that, together with Peter Johansson, which was an amazing designer. Do you have to mocap floating chairs and I, I'm not sure how would you mocap a chair, like just put on the mocap suit and then wait and see what happens. Yeah, just throw it around? <laughs> throw it around. Sure, yeah. Do you mocap the floating people? I think we've done some of that, yeah. Do you know how they do that? Wires? Uh, wires and stretches and they kind of hang around a bit. It's actually really hard to make a convincing kind of a person that hangs in there. It's hard to make it not look weird, right. but needs to be good weird and not bad weird. What's the hardest difficulty called? Oh, we don't really have a fun name for that, I'm sorry. But there are difficulties? No, actually. Is there a photo mode? Not for release. What do you think of crunch? And munch. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Why are y'all so stupid for licorice over here? It's delicious, and, and I guess we don't understand why is everybody on fire about licorice. Can I watch TV in this game? Yes. Are the TVs bigger than Alan Wake's TVs? No, not really. They're kind of shitty small TVs. It's kind of our thing, right? What doesn't the internet know about your game? Impress the snobs. Well, I, I think we're being quite Kubrickian in our visuals and symbolism. There are a lot of meaning to shapes and forms within the game. If you pay attention, you will see it. Show me what your hands will be doing on the controller at the very end of the game. Both triggers down. Classic. Be honest, how often do you think about Game Informer when we're not doing a cover story on you guys? Maybe once a year. Yeah, around Christmas? It's usually the, the best time to think about you guys. I agree. Can you upgrade weapons? Yeah. If you had to market this game to a very cool 11-year-old, what would you say? This is mature, man. It's, it's you know, you can't sell this to 11-year-olds. What are you thinking? Like, oh, come on. Sorry. Yeah. GameStop doesn't, doesn't ever do that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, of course. It's policy. Yeah, they would never, ever. Will there be DLC? Yeah. Microtransactions? No, no. Can you make with your mouth the volume that my PS4 fan will be at playing this game? <laughs> no, it's uh, physically impossible, I think. It's like my, my hair is flapping pretty much <laughs> when I play. Are there any differences between playing it on a base or upgraded console? Yeah, I mean, we want to squeeze out as much power as we can out from every platform. Is this a horror game? No, I don't think so. It has elements that are horrific, but you are empowered to deal with that stuff. So I think that makes it not a horror game. In a horror game, you would be more like a victim of circumstance and survival. This is about Jesse kicking ass and, and dealing with that stuff. What's the ideal budget for a video game? Nice lump sum of 50 million. That would be nice. And then another 50 million for marketing. Right. What's the budget for control? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very funny. What percent of the puzzles will I be able to solve right when I see them versus I have to come back later? 70, 80. They're not that hard. There's going to be a couple that are going to be really weird. Is there going to be any dabbing in this game? No, absolutely not. You're not going to dab in this video, are you? No, I'm not. You're not going to, like, right no, now no, like this? No, that's not happening. You're not? Okay, good. Good. Did you know that when you stop staring at me, this interview ends? No. Do you want to try it? <laughs>